This is a studio. It's a 3,000 square foot studio. And we grew up actually in that house where my parents built their adobes and they, they made it the thick ways. Like, so it's like the walls are like 12 inches thick, really? which is awesome. And they made everything themselves. Uh, Coach de Pueblo is located on the west side of I-25 between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Um, yeah, it's one of the smaller Pueblos of the 19 Pueblos. Maybe I would say close to 800 people live here. And I would say the population, like the people that live off, would maybe be maybe 2,000. So it's, it's pretty small. And this is our dad, Guadalupe Ortiz. And he is a drum maker. So this is where our dad creates all of his drums. Aspen wood is what he works with. He uses uh, cow hide or either deer hide to make the drums. Here's, here's one. It's a cotton wood. Just kind of dig them out, huh? Yeah. yeah. So just slowly you have to do it, and he, he usually does it maybe an inch. Yeah. Oh, he gets okay. it down to about an inch and a half, yeah. or maybe. So he'll be soaking the hide like in the canals for maybe a couple of days. Ready to put the height on. Oh, cool. That one's ready to go, huh? Yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta have the eyes to see what's, uh, you know, like this one is like a ram. He's got horns already. Mm -hmm. He'll either paint the design or burn the design into it. Yeah. And a lot of the collectors do like that to have the extra, cause extra design on it, cause normally they'll get just like the very straight drums, uh, but he's taking that little step further to add in different characters into it. It's got a lot of, lot of holes, you know, worm, worm holes, and then I, I just put filler with a mm. filler, filler, and then I sand it down and make it look like that. Right here, like, over here, see? And it's really cool, too, the, with the knots in there, because he does, again, like, wolves carve it each, into, each like, a buffalo each, or each, something. Each drum is different. Oh, yeah, totally. It's like... And with the extra holes that are in there, that makes the tone of the drum yeah. a different, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Like That's a bass, bass more, type. Yeah, thing. more bass because the bears allow the vibrations allowed to come out. Mm -hmm. Whereas the ones that are completely sealed, it's a little bit higher tuned. We grew up here, and I have uh, four sisters and one older brother, and two of them we lost. So. <laughs> the cow hide. Mm. So do you do you have to uh, soak it to get yeah, it? Yeah, soak it overnight. Uh huh. And put it where it's wet. On the, on the wood. Wrap it on there and wet. And, and then, then once you finish, you just set it out in the sun, let it dry, and then that's it. It's got that. That's awesome. Yeah. The way I want it. This one that's painted. So look at Look similar to some of your your designs, or oh yeah, it's all it all influences each other. So that would be like half of the side of the resurrect design. Mm -hmm. 